Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's uh, safe and uh, not getting overly crazy about being stuck wherever you are. Uh, even if you are working, it's it's different. Um, anyway, today we have uh, Steve Hayes, and he is a software uh, developer, maybe, or, or a user, and he's going to show you how to integrate your software, uh, talking to a dealer now, your software with your central station, uh, uh, alarm.com, uh, apparently he's also able to integrate with, and uh, some other things. And the whole idea is to save money and operating costs, which is probably a very good idea all the time, and particularly now. So I'm going to turn the uh, presentation over to Steve and uh, entertain us, Steve. Here you go. Oh man, entertain us! All right, I I I hope I can pull it off for you. Uh, I've I've seen a lot of great um, presentations the last couple of weeks. You guys have done a great job of bringing uh, a lot of talented and knowledgeable people to the forefront and uh, seeing what was supposed to be done as uh, at ISC West as a roundtable and bringing it out for um, all of us dealers and companies that are inside of the industry. And instead of letting only six people into you know, the room letting 60 to 100, you know, everybody that really wants to come in. So, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate, uh, A, the opportunity to present uh, to people here, and B, I, I also really appreciate all the work that you guys have been doing over there to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to bring a lot of knowledge out to the industry, you know, and especially right now. Uh, so, as Ken said, my name is Stephen Hayes. Uh, the short bio of me is I've been in consumer electronics since 1999. Uh, I was the director of security for a company called uh, Sixth Ave Electronics, where I ended up giving uh, somebody about $200,000 worth of business uh, to redo all of the alarm systems throughout our whole company. And we had 22 locations and a warehouse. So not only did we give them about $200,000, but uh, you know, I, I don't remember what the RMR was, but, you know, you're going to take another ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in RMR uh, just for uh, that store. And I, I said, what the heck, man? Why aren't I an alarm company? So I, uh, I quit and I started an alarm company back in 2009. One of the things that I noticed was there was really no good software out there to help me manage my whole uh, platform, right? I, I was able to manage um, sales in one place, invoicing in another. Uh, receivables in another, uh, central station, maybe in the central station software. At the time, it wasn't really great. So you had to call in or fax your data entry or something like that. Your RMR somewhere else and, you know, alarm.com through their portal, right? And uh, don't get me wrong, all of these things together are great, uh, or all of these things separate are great, but bringing all of these things together is, you know, the most important thing. So I know that there's a lot of choices out there. I know that there are other CRMs. I know that there are other uh, billing softwares out there, but we like to say that we're your CRM, we're your ERP, we're your field service management, we're your e-agreement company, and we are an RMR machine for your, uh, for your clients. So currently uh, we have Avantgarde and affiliated as integrated central stations where you can create accounts, uh, match them up with the right templates that you guys have for them, on and off test, terminate, uh, upload in real time uh, your uh, your zone list. If it's not alarm.com, we can pull the zone list that are uh, already in there if it's an existing customer, and we can upload, pa update passcodes and emergency contacts. Um, COPS and rapid response. So COPS, excuse me, COPS is actually finishing up uh, today or tomorrow. I just saw the notes going out that we are going for our testing with them and then rapid responses after and we'll we'll have other central stations that we'll work on after that uh currently we we only have alarm.com but i say we only they i think they have a majority uh, of the uh at least the residential business i know they have a lot of the commercial business as well so through here you can enter in the 15 digit account number uh the card number uh, hit a button and you can automatically uh, create the user. Uh, we can send the uh, welcome letter. We can get the zone information in real time uh, and we can terminate accounts. And then uh, what we implemented last week, which is really cool, is a single click to the, com uh, to the customer portal. So I'll show you guys that in a couple minutes, but from inside of our software, 
basically click on this button that says customer portal. When you click on that button for customer portal, it gives you a pop-up into alarm.com. Uh, so you don't need to log out, find something, you know, find your username and password and everything else. Uh, we built Workhorse on the latest softwares or the, you know, the latest uh, technologies. So for the people that ask, sometimes it happens. Uh, we're built in React, Laravel, and MySQL, and we are completely mobile responsive. So if you're on an iPad, iPhone, Android, computer, desktop, laptop, whatever you happen to be on, um, we, our, our software is going to react and readjust to it to give you the best user experience possible. Now, uh, one of the coolest things that we do is uh, right on your dashboard, we give you your aging. So as soon as you log in, you're an owner, you're a customer service rep, you're you know, anybody in this position, we're gonna show you this money that is owed in real time. And we put it right on the dashboard for you. So we tell you how much it is, who it is, what kind of, where it's coming from. Uh, and you know, so you know if it's a service call, you know if it's a, a deal install, RMR or anything like that, where this is coming from. And it's, it's truly right on your dashboard right in front of you. So we want to get you that information, you know, as kind of quick and as easy as possible. So our CRM, uh, our software is designed for you, the alarm company, uh, not just the alarm dealer. We know that you do a lot more than just sell alarm systems, right? So there's softwares out there. I'm going to sell alarm systems. There's softwares out there for it. We help you sell alarm, CCTV, access control, fire alarms. We also added PERS, Wi-Fi, or PERS, home automation and networking to this list since uh, this slide was created. Right at the top of a deal page, we let you know uh, how much somebody's past due, how many open service calls you have for them, uh, the total payments that they've made and an estimated profit and loss at the current time. So that's like your lifetime value of that customer. Uh, we also let you know uh, if it's sold, it probably means that you have an agreement and it's been uploaded and your contract information below. On every deal type, as long as it's imported in, uh, as long as it's created inside of Workforce, I should say, we're going to give you some other cool information. So we're going to take your, uh, your RMR. We're going to take out the, the central station pass through, the communication partner pass through. Those are manual entries, but we're going to give you your net RMR. Uh, we're going to take that net RMR and we're going to put that into an estimated profit and loss on day one and an estimated term profit and loss. So we know that this is a 36 month contract at $45 a month. And we're going to show you what it's expected to, uh, what, uh, what, what you're expected to make off it at the end. Uh, on, on top of that, the, uh, <laughs> the equipment costs in here are only $1.99. I, I assume that we're going to pay a little bit more for the equipment, but, uh, we pull that equipment right from everything that you sell inside of the invoice or inside of the deal. If you sell a two gig alarm system with, you know, 10 door contacts, three motion detectors, we're going to take the costs that you've imported into the system uh, for all of those, add them up, and we're going to put them into the equipment costs uh, for you. So there's no manual uh, work that needs to be done on your side other than the uh, miscellaneous costs, which could just be extra money for wires, you know, a trip to uh, you know, wiretaps, uh, yard signs and decals, something maybe you want to put in, you know, seven to ten dollars, fifteen dollars for stuff like that. Now, the reason that we do our deals differently is because an alarm deal is treated differently than a uh, alarm deal is treated differently than a CCTV deal, different than access control, uh, different than PERS, different all the way around, right? So, in an alarm deal, Things that you want to know are the zone list, right? So if you look at the zone list uh, on the right-hand side, you can see uh, we haven't tested any of these zones. But if this was tested with the central station, these red X's would go green. You can also see the names of all of the zones and how they were entered. So all of these zones were actually entered uh, by the technician on site into a uh, Qualsys IQ2 panel. We then pulled it out with alarm.com. We pulled it out. We put it into our CRM. We put it right into your dashboard. And from the dashboard, we sent it over to Avant Guard. So Avant Guard now has everything that uh, was entered in. So the name, the site, the emergency contacts, passcodes, payment information, well, they don't get that. Uh, all of that gets entered by the salesperson or during the sales process uh, in the 
installation process for getting all of the zones, but they only need to enter them into the panel. And because it's alarm.com, we can pull all of the zones out and then we push it all over to alarm.com for you. So they always have the latest uh, information. Now, again, a CCTV deal, totally different than an alarm deal, right? Because now you're selling cameras. So if you take your, uh, your DVR or NVR, we're going to track for you the location. What item did you actually uh, install here? What app are you using? Serial number, MAC address, IP address, DDNS, if you're still using that. If you're doing a QR code, we can put a QR code in here for you too. Uh, and the date of installation. Then we do the same thing for the cameras as well. <clears throat> so now you know. If you need to run a service call, well, maybe you can try to hit that DVR before you even go out there. Maybe you can try to reset a zone. Maybe if you have uh, a technology like Wattbox or uh, Snap AV inside of there, you can do a manual reset of the, the DVR and VR and stop the truck roll. If you find out that you still need to roll the truck, maybe you can order a new camera from the manufacturer because you know the camera number one is an access whatever camera is in there with this serial number, this MAC address. So you have everything that you need before you even go out there. So now you're not worried about, oh great, you know, I, I went out there with the, I went out there with the, uh, an LTS camera and it was really an access that I was supposed to redo. Um, you know, because of that, like that causes a lot of double, uh, uh, that, that causes a lot of extra service calls that aren't needed. So you should be able to keep track of everything with inside the system. Now for uh, my favorite part, and I think the reason why uh, Ken let me on here, is we also, we're, we're your e-agreements portal, right? So you don't need to pay for a separate e-agreements uh, service like a DocuSign, HelloSign, or whoever. So uh, you're also gonna save, uh, you're gonna save on paper and ink, you're gonna save on storage. So if you're one of those guys who, you still have hundreds of documents or you're still getting you know hard po copy signed and uh, putting them inside of a, filing cabinet inside of your office, well, we take care of that for you. So when an e-contract is signed out, we're going to do a couple things for it. We're going to send it to you. We're going to send it to your client. Uh, and once it's all done, once both of you have signed it, we're going to bring it back into the system and it's going to be stored inside of Workforce. It's going to be stored right under uh, the attachments tab. Now, uh, Ken's contracts are big, lengthy, and they take care of you uh, really well. So we can fill those out as well. So it's not a matter of you have to use ours, you have to use somebody else's. We'll take your Kirschenbaum contracts. We will import them into the system. Uh, we'll get everything uh, worked out the right way that you need it. And it's literally once a deal is completed by the salesperson, the click of a button of send e-agreement and it sends out to uh, both the, the salesperson or the office manager, whoever you have it sent to. And it'll send to the client. Once both people sign it, it gets imported back into the system. But on top of that, uh, this little um, uh, uh, navigator on top, we know if it went from a lead, if we know if we sent the agreement, we know if we resent the agreement and it's sold once the agreement comes back to you. So again, there's no need to uh, spend money on other uh, softwares. You know, We're bringing all of the softwares that you use as an alarm company together. The same thing, kind of like a um, uh, 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 an e-agreement is an installation certificate, something that you have your office spend, you know, even if it's only five to 10 minutes on, they need to go in, log into the system. They need to find out the information, customer information. Maybe they're going into central station. Uh, you know, then they're taking all that information out. As long as you built this deal inside of uh, Workhorse, you can hit uh, installation certificate you'll get a pop-up that'll say, okay, well, are you installing a panel, a backup battery, burglar alarm, fire alarm? We pre-populate everything else and you hit the button, send uh, installation certificate, goes right to the customer. So that's another you know, huge time saver for either you, if you're a one-man band or you know, an office that might have two or three people in their office. You know, it's, it's one of those tasks that you know, for, nobody really likes doing because it's you know, repetitive and, you know, uh, as, some people would say, you know, it's almost annoying, but it's super important inside of our world. Field service management. This is something that uh, a lot of companies struggle with. I really struggled with as an alarm company. <laughs> and the old way of doing it, right, is somebody has a pen and paper. 
your customer is going to call into the office. You're going to uh, you're going to fill out some paper forms. Maybe you're going to hand those paper forms to the technician. You're going to send him a message, let him know that it's on his calendar. Uh, you're going to send the technician out there. He's going to do the work, but he's going to call into the central station and take up time on the SVR. He's going to call into uh, your office and take your office's time so they know when to start billing and when to end billing. They're going to get the customer to sign off on it. They're not going to do the math correctly. The tech's going to bring you back the paperwork. You're going to inevitably let it sit on your desk or somebody's desk for a couple of days. Then you're going to create the invoice. And then unfortunately, the customer is just going to pay at their own leisure, right? Because the customer said, well, you took a week to get me this. I'm not going to pay it right away. And that's just, you know, one of those things that, you know, unfortunately just happens. And that's how, you know, a lot of customers uh, react. But our way of doing it is you enter in a service ticket into Workforce. Uh, we'll send the tech, we'll send the tech a text message letting them know that a service ticket's been assigned to them. We send a text message to the customer reminding them that they have a service call. Uh, when a technician will mark himself in route on site, messages also go up, notifications go up. So you know at the office where your guy's at, what he's doing, is he on site, is he not on site? Uh, so we track based on button pushes. So if you push a button from, uh, you know, that says you're in route, well, we say, well, Steve's in route, and this is exactly where he is when he starts in route. The technician will go out there, he'll put the system on test right through Workforce. He'll do the work that he needs to do. He'll use the equipment that he needs to use. He'll get the customer to sign off on it at the end. And when the customer signs off on it, they'll say, hey, Mrs. Jones, is it good if we use the credit card that we have on file? Perfect. If they give an ACH, if they're going to give a check or something like that, they can deposit that as well. Uh, and ACH deposits cost 50 cents. There's no 50, 500, 5,000, 50,000 dollars. It doesn't matter the amount as long as you're approved for it. It only costs you 50 cents. So it would be smart just anytime, uh, anytime you get a check, you just do it right through the, uh, you know, right through our portal. We like said it, you know, you don't have to worry about going to a bank, scanning it, bringing it back, tech forgetting about it, tech losing it. Uh, tech spilling his coffee on it or something like that. Uh, we are integrated fully with Google Maps. So any button push inside the system, uh, as long as you're not inside of your office, uh, any button push inside of the system basically says, all right, this person was exactly here when they did the work or when they when they hit the button. Uh, like I said, we let the technicians check in automatically uh, and it's designed specifically for uh, you know, uh, an iPad, iPhone for single hand use. So, hey, I'm in route. Hey, I'm uh, I'm there. Uh, I've completed the job and I've departed, right? So, you know, Steve left here, but he didn't check in route to the next place because maybe he was at lunch or something like that. So you can keep track of, you know, where people and what they're doing. Uh, by RMR machine, that was the last part I put in there. By RMR machine, what I mean is we've created this, uh, uh, amazing uh, billing platform as well, right? So you will put in uh, the information when you want it started. You can prorate. Let's just say that you forget you. It's April 20th today, and you forgot to start. Uh, you forgot to start on April 1st and bill the person for April 1st. That's no problem. You'll just put in that you want to start it on April 1st. You want the next bill to go out on May 1st if it's monthly, quarterly, and semi-annually. You know the system figures it out for you just like that. We do the billing for you. Uh, and we have what I think are pretty competitive rates, uh, and especially when you look at the totality of it, right? So we're ten dollars a month for ten dollars a month for the gateway, but there's no uh, authorized net charges or any other charges that go with it. Uh, we're two seven nine three two nine Visa Mastercard American Express Discover, uh, and that can also be depending on uh, what you're paying now and uh, you know where you're at. We can also um, make adjustments to that. 50 cents or ACH. And then what I think is a, one of the best things that we do uh, is we have auto updater. So if a credit card is to decline based on uh, expiration date, um, they reported their card lost or stolen, they, uh, um, they put a chargeback against somebody else and maybe there's a hold on it, uh, with the exception of them putting a chargeback directly against you, we, uh, I, I guess really the Netflixes of the world did this, but we made it so we can go out because we have these tokens. We can go out and get all of the the all of the information that we need. So if a card is canceled, we get the new card information. You don't skip a beat. 
if a uh, card is expired, we get the new expiration date. Don't skip a beat. Uh, and it's a dollar only when it's successful. Uh, and then at the end too, these are all card not present rates too. So um, you know, a lot of people will charge, will say, hey, we're 279 for this, but when you do card not present, which is every transaction that we do in the alarm world, uh, your rates uh, go up, they skyrocket because you know they're not provisioned for it. Now, uh, we, we talked uh, shortly about software that just kind of pays for itself. So when, when you look at all of the different softwares that you're paying for now, and you look at all of the time it takes, if we're able to uh, you know, take a load off of you as an owner operator or able to reduce a seat of staff inside of your organization or that you're able to repurpose them, on a, a normal company would cost in our software uh, between $250 and $350 a month, all depending on how many users they have, and we'll go into that in a minute. But if you're able to reduce or repurpose somebody, we're, we're saying that we're going to give you a $37,000 net positive savings uh, just by your just by your ability to uh, you know move that uh, button chair cost or repurpose that into somebody who's doing sales or follow up or you know something similar for you. Uh, a, a big question that we'll get asked, and I'm sure it would come up, is onboarding and customer information. So uh, we're going to take your data from your current uh, CRM or workspace. We'll move it over. We'll get your merchant services set up. We'll do a review for you. And that normally takes three to four weeks for us to get the, the whole thing packaged in. We can turn it on for you tomorrow. But in doing so, we only really give you a disservice. Um, support. We have phone support, and we also have uh, support via text and chat. So at any time, you can support via text and chat, and you would be on with myself, uh, our assistant, uh, or any one of the three developers that we have, and we have three developers in-house in the U.S. Uh, so pricing, because we know it'll come up. We have two different plans. We have this uh, RMR Builder plan, which is basically how you do subscriptions, how you do service calls, how you do the technician views and seats, uh, and that's $99 and comes with three seats and comes with a basic customer portal built in. So a customer can see their... Um, they might, they might get a note from us that says your card's gonna expire in three months, please log in and update it. Uh, in doing so, you wouldn't have to pay that auto updater fee. We're, you know, we're proactively reaching out to people so you don't have to pay that. Again, this is software to save you money. Uh, or $250 a month, and that comes with five seats. But it comes with all of the central station integrations, recurring billing, uh, an advanced customer portal where they can request service calls, they can see their documents if you want to let them see their documents. Uh, they can make payments to their bills. They can see their estimates and they can accept their estimates or they can chat back and forth with you about their estimates as well. Uh, and also the profit and loss at the deal level, that's that's in the uh, $250 a month as well. So then we also have a couple other fees with uh, original document fees. If you want to have, give me uh, Ken's contracts, which I highly recommend. Uh, if you bring Ken's contracts to us, we do charge you uh, for the manpower that it takes to put them in there. It's $2 per completed agreement. So that is only when it's completed. Uh, we have a, an onboarding fee of uh, $1,000. But if you're in here today, we'll cut that in half. Uh, if you're doing background checks, if you're in the hiring process, we have a way for you to do background checks right inside of our software where basically you enter in the, you know, your potential, uh, your potential employee's information, click on background check if you want to county, national, uh, driver's abstract, because you're going to give them a vehicle and they're going to go on your insurance and your insurance requires it. Uh, or if you want to send them for a drug screening as well, you know, we take care of that too. Uh, and then G Suite. So G Suite, we'll hook up your Gmail into uh, Workhorse. So we use your calendar, we use your Google Drive and stuff like that. Um, the, co the company has a, a, a greater uh, goal is uh, service company software, which is Workhorse, which I showed you today, and DigiSign, which is how we uh, get our signatures out there, get it signed for you. Uh, we have insurance through Aflac. Uh, we have payroll through ADP Run. We're a preferred partner of them. And then service company marketing, and within marketing is uh, Instagram and Facebook marketing, G Suite, uh, reputation management, and some other stuff. So 
social media, you know, we create these templated posts. We put your name, your customer, your information all over them, and we set up a schedule for you. So if you, you know, for the year, and we sign that, we set you up for that. Uh, uh, like right now, and you have the whole year. There's two different options of that. And like I said, we we kind of have these templated out. So if you're two gig or alarm.com or Zidio, Qualsys, uh, whoever you're with, we will create those posts for you. If you want CCTV in the month of month of May, we'll create a CCTV one. If you want um, uh, if you want um, self install, uh, right now we would create a self install campaign for you. Uh, but again, they're all templated. We set it up for you. Um, and we give you a custom post every month and, and stuff like that as well. Uh, and then ADP run for your payroll, uh, it starts at a hundred dollars a month and then it goes by employee. Uh, like I said, we are a preferred partner of ADP run. We can take care of anybody anywhere in the country. Uh, on top of that, we have integrations coming. They're not here just yet, but where you'll be able to create the payroll inside of workforce and send it to ADP run. So there, you won't need to create the payroll here and create it here, you create it in one spot and they talk back and forth to each other. And then reputation management uh, starts at $100 and it's basically how after every in interaction with a customer, we're going to send them and find out how you guys did, whether it's a service call, install, uh, you, you can set it up anytime a customer calls in, we wanna send them a text message that says, you know, hey, we just wanna find out how Steve did at EGA, you know, how did Steve handle your call? Ba -ba 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 -ba. As soon as they give you a five, four or five star review, uh, we will send them, uh, we basically pop up a link so they'll type in the review. It goes to Google, uh, Facebook, Yelp, Home Advisor, Angie's List, all of the places that you wanna be, we can send it out for you. Um, and this is also kinda depending on how many customers you have. So because of text messaging and emails and all the different things in there, uh, we go from 100 to, you know, it, it starts stepping up every uh, 2,000 um, clients that you have on board. Uh, so so that's, my, that's my short spiel. Um, I want to take you into the software for a minute and then uh, field some questions right after. Does that work for you, Ken? Sure, that's fine. We have a couple of questions, and uh, but you can finish up if you want. Okay, yeah, uh, so I, I mean, I'll go quick here. So like I said, this is uh, the customer that I showed you a minute ago. And this is how we, uh, uh, th this is a, a real live view of a customer. So you can see some zones are tested. You can also go in and, um, what do you call it? Uh, you, you can also come in here and search by zone. Well, I gotta. And just your partner portal, one click to your partner portal, uh, right to alarm.com, and it takes you right to this customer very specifically. At least it should. If uh, alarm.com is not loading. Um, and then send e agreement. So uh, if you send the e agreement, it's going to go directly to me, and uh, I think I'm in a deal for Ken. Oh, yep, we got a, I got a live message that said uh, that it went through. And then Ken, if you wanted to, if you checked your email, you would see a, uh, you, you'll see an invitation to sign from me. Uh, just, just so you can see, you know, what it kind of looks like. You know, you don't need to obviously sign it, although it's a letter of recommendation for me. And I'd really appreciate if you did sign it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that, that that's how that one works. Um, hmm. I am not sure why alarm.com didn't work, but uh, I'll try again in a minute. Um, so again, that that's my uh, that that's my nickel uh, preview of Workhorse, and I'd love to field any questions that we have. Let me ask you a couple of things. First I'm ready. of all. Um, uh, no, that someone wants to know if you, if you still have your alarm company. So I still do own an active alarm company inside of New Jersey. Uh, it is for friends and family only. Um, it's a very expensive friends and family thing that I do for uh, for it. But I, I do. I, I still own EGA Security, an alarm company in New Jersey. Uh, but 
I live in Florida, so it's really, it truly is friends and family. So you're really not engaged in, in, in as, as I, an active competitive dealer for anybody. Okay. Correct. Yeah, I, I, I do not compete, and you know, I, I'd, I'd honestly be, you know, if somebody said that that was an issue, I'd be glad to show them the 42 no, 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 accounts no, no, that no, I have no, that are not, friends and not, family. Do, do, do you? No, have, I understand. Yeah. Do you have other software products, or this is the one that you've got? Okay, so we have uh, Workhorse, as you see it. Uh, we have a repu uh, reputation management software that's about uh, two months out from being totally completed that can be used uh, on its own outside of Workhorse uh, or in conjunction with Workhorse. So uh, so there's that. And then we have um, just a plain Jane document signature uh, coming out in the same timeline of two months. That's super cheap. It's $25 a month and $5 in agreement. But uh, it's for the guy who doesn't need the full system that just wants something less. Uh, how long have, has this program been out there? Okay, so uh, we've been building it for the last 18 months. Um, we had people in beta up until um, uh, January, February, March, and then in April we opened the doors. So uh, we, we've been so we, we've had people in for we've had people in beta for over six months that have been using it. Um, and then we opened the doors to everybody else in March with plans that, you know, ISC was our real, uh, was, our, was our real opening to the world. Uh, well, you got to meet more people right here than you would have at ISC. Yeah, you absolutely. You didn't have to travel. Uh, oh, can, can they use any credit card processor if, with this program? Uh, no, we're, we're very specific that we need Sphere. Uh, it was built directly with them. Uh, part of the reason was they gave us the best integration with Auto Updater. Uh, we have automatic knowledge of ACH now as well too, so you're not worried for three to four days is this uh, ACH going to go through? You find out right away if it's been accepted uh, or approved, not just accepted, and you know we find out for you later. So well, it very like, specific. It sounds like this program uh, 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 does some of the things, maybe all of the things that Biller Genie does, which we had last week. Uh, and there they, they allowed you to use any credit card processor you wanted to, even though they're hooked in with the SkyBank financial. Yeah, exactly. So uh, de that's definitely a big difference, right? So they let you hook up with your uh, QuickBooks or authorized.net accounts and you can use your, you know, your Chase or, you know, your wh whoever you want to use. Uh, we, we, we don't do that. We, we, we have a deal with Sphere. Um, so you know, when you sign up with Workhorse, you get a Sphere account. Like I said, we, we keep the rates pretty low. If uh, if you're getting much better rates, you know, we, we can also accommodate as well. Um, but like I said, we're $10 a month flat for our gateway. No monthly charges for, no daily charges for batch fees, no swipe charges that you're not ready for, no uh, card not present charges, which everybody, you know, really gets you on. Um, so it's it's definitely, uh, but, but I mean, I, th I think two, you know, significantly different softwares. Can you can you track inventory with this program? So inventory tracking is coming uh, by the end of the year, uh, but I'll explain why. So inventory tracking is something that all alarm companies want, but I, I feel like uh, I've interviewed hundreds of companies. I've been in charge of loss prevention for, like I said, a, a 20 uh, store retail chain plus 300,000 square foot warehouse. So everybody wants inventory. Nobody wants to do it. So we really need to design it in a way that just made uh, it really easy for you. So um, technicians could transfer truck to truck and they get sign offs on everything that they do. When they complete a service call, that equipment from that service call falls right out of their truck. Uh, when they do an install, that equipment falls right out of their truck. When you pick up from uh, a distributor, an ADI or uh, SS and SI, um, that, though, that, uh, you know, that equipment gets put right into your inventory. You know, and even if you're an owner and you go to pick up at, you know, SS and SI uh, and you're bringing it back to your warehouse, you're going to sign off on that PO that says, all right, well, now it's in my car, my van, my whatever. And then when I get back to the office, I need to move it into the warehouse. Right. And then I need to create transfers on wherever it needs to go. But on top of all that, we, we also are building this um, uh, this blind cycle count as well. So all technicians steal and it's not always on purpose. Um, they all misplace goods, right? So uh, you'll be able to say, I need to see all of the, 
the two gig uh, DW20 door contacts you have to all of your technicians. It grays out the um, the number of uh, DW20 door contacts that they have, or these Qualsys IQ2 panels that they have. It grays all of that stuff out for them, so they can't see it anymore. Uh, and they have to put the number in, right? So now you can see, all right, well, he says he has five, but he's supposed to have 10. This guy says he has 15, but he's supposed to have 10. All right, well, there's a mix up there. Or, you know, uh, this guy says he has five, and you know, he's supposed to have 10, and it's habitual. And on top of that, we track it, so at the end of the year, you can see, all right, well, Steve, look, you're, you, Ken, you're a great technician. You really are. You got, the, you got things done really fast. You made yourself and the company a lot of money, but you lost $12,000 in goods. I got to let you go. Um, and, for, and for that reason, that, that, that's what's taking so long to get it out. It's just, it's just a, like I said, everybody wants it. Nobody wants to do it. So we need to create it in a way that works globally for everybody and not just for very specific people. So this global, and it's really just got to be super easy. So that that's just what's taking so long with it. All right. So the, after all of that, uh, what I heard is that you don't have an inventory control yet. No. Yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> no, you. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what about uh, this? The, your pro whole program, I take it, is is cloud based. Cloud based. Correct. So so yep. so that that I figured out a long time ago that that's a very fancy way of saying that. The, the data is stored in a receiver in your bedroom, not 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 the dealer's <laughs> bedroom, right? So that's we that's are the, yeah. We are redundantly hosted on AWS in uh, uh, Ohio, and I got to check the other one. Uh, All right, we, so you got three, we, you got three, or, three or four bedrooms where you got I, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, Got yeah. It. So now when an alarm company decides for whatever reason that, that uh, it's time for them to move on and, and they mm -hmm. don't want your service any longer, how do they get their data uh, 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 to that, to, so that they can, they yeah. can retrieve all of it and, and use it somehow? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's not my data, it's yours. So when you, when you submit that you want to leave, which Look, I'm hoping never happens, but it's quite possible that it does. Uh, we will give you an export of every little thing that you've ever imported, including your PDFs, your JPEGs, your your everything. So we will give you anything and everything. We just don't have a button uh, at the current time that says export all and, I'm on, and I want to be on my way. Uh, what we can do for you, though, is uh, if you're a G Suite customer, we can take all of this information and back it up into your G Suite as well. So again, it. Go ahead. Does, does that does that mean that you're going to produce data in, let's say, a PDF format, so they've got they can see it, or are you going to produce data that they can then give to another software company that they may have decided to go to, who can then use that data to or populate its data? So data transfer it has been the bane of my existence for the last, uh, you know, three years plus since I got into this, uh, this side of it. So my data is different than this guy's data is different than this guy's data is different than this guy's data. And I mean that by, um, you know, it's different than Biller Genie's data is different than uh, OnGuard's data is different than these other, uh, you know, service company softwares. So I will give you everything that you have inside of here. It is up to you or up to them to be able to move it into yours. Now, I'll tell you that part of our onboarding is we will take all of the data that you're able to get from whoever you're currently with, and we will upload it for you. Upload we, it we into your through, wait, wait, wait. It's upload our it, system. Wait, you'll upload it into your system. Right, but I will also, if, if you were with me for, let's just say you're with me for a year, Ken, and you say, hey, Steve, look, you're not the right guy. No problem. You submit it in writing. I will give you all of your data in uh, CSV format. Uh, and then I'll give you all of your PDFs. I'll give you those to you as well. Well, here, so here's the question. I think this is this is a, 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 the same thing. If I'm currently yeah. using QuickBooks, how does this mm -hmm. dovetail with that? Okay, so we can take an export of your QuickBooks data and we can import it so you have all of your contacts, your deals, and your sites and everything inside of our system. For QuickBooks, we have a report. Uh, it's basically a general ledger report. So your GL will match up from here to QuickBooks, but we don't have an interface per se. I, you know, it, and it's really just comes down to there's so many different bookkeeping options out there that we felt the general ledger uh, 
integration was our best for the current time. Okay, so I'm still not clear about. So we know that they can they can come to you with different mm -hmm. programs and software yeah, if, that they've been using. Yeah, if you want to leave. How do they coordinate it going the other direction, though? Did they'll be mm -hmm. able to? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to leave, which I don't recommend you ever doing, uh, right. taking food off my family's table. Um, but if you want to leave, that's OK. Uh, we get it. You know, uh, heartbreaks happen. And, you know, sometimes the best relationships don't always last the longest. No, right? no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. So if, if, if you want wait, to leave. It doesn't have to be that kind of scenario. It could be that they sell their accounts to another sure. operator. And, oh. and 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 they need to they need to migrate you know into the into the other operation. So 100%. Those, how are they going to be able to migrate their data into the next operation? The the easiest way for me to say it is you request that you want to you'll request to leave, and we will send you all of your information in a usable format for you to upload wherever you're going. Okay, I. Uh, next question that we have how about technical support for the product i guess that sure. means that they're, they're they're trying to use it and they're and they're running into a glitch what do they do do they do they speak to someone or is it all ai uh uh you know <laughs> wait, wait wait for someone to chat with that ain't gonna happen yeah, so so we are monday through friday uh 7 a.m to 8 p.m uh you can get somebody on the phone like i said we have myself an assistant uh, and three developers. Uh, any one of those three developers are more than qualified to answer the calls that come in. Uh, we also give you a chat with us, and it's not just a chat and wait for somebody. It is uh, right now we're using a software called Slack, and you're in your own channel with your with our developers and your onboarding, uh, and you can ask your questions, and we'll, we get back to you. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that although we guarantee those times, uh, myself and my team are really available you know all the time but those are the times that we guarantee okay let me let me ask something very broad stroke uh in a way uh okay. and again I'm not, and i'm not in the industry so remember that right sure here. so 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 who who are you competing against uh right now what what other software uh, uh uh is out there i mean is for i know sedona as a name for example sure uh, I know Mastermind is, is, sure. is another. I don't know. Are you are you the, uh, have the similar uh, supplementary so, competing what? Uh, I guess we would be complementary to Sedona to a point, right? Sedona is a bookkeeping software that was designed for the uh, alarm industry. So it's like QuickBooks uh, is Sedona, right? Like th those are two really uh, competitors. Uh, Sedona also owns a company called Alarm Biller. Um, Alarm Biller would be a direct competition of my $99 plan. Um, so that that you know, so so there's that. There's uh, uh, so would security. Biller, Biller Genie would oh. also be a competitor. Uh, yeah, I, I guess they would be. Um, I, I think these other guys are very field service and. Uh, they're they're very field service and alarm company orientated, and that's why I named like Alarm Biller um, or uh, On Guard or uh, Security Tracks by Alarm.com. So Alarm.com actually owns a CRM company, right? So they uh, I don't know why they bought it, but they bought it, and you know that that's a direct comp competitor of ours. But the big difference is is that they're really made for alarm dealers and that dealer application of I'm going to sell off these accounts to a Brinks or an ADT or uh, Alert 360 or somebody where we're here to help you run your alarm company, which is your sales of alarm, burglar alarms, fire alarms, CCTV, uh, networking, and the whole gamut of you know what your integration companies really sell you're, now. You're saying, you're saying that those other programs that you just mentioned are more suitable to, a, to an outfit that's out there selling systems and then selling them right off to, to a, a dealer program. Basically, yep, one one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they don't have. So a, we are they're, made, not, they're not a full service alarm company. They're doing installations and selling off their their accounts, and then eventually going broke. I might add, but that that that's another issue. Okay. Right. Well, uh, I, I won't get into it. Uh, but but yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we, we're here for the more that traditional alarm company that is going to go out and sell alarm systems, 
install, monitor, service, do everything on their own, and really just wants really good integrations into, uh, you know, uh, like I said, their e agreement their Okay, now now explain this to me. So now All I'm right. a I'm a small alarm dealer. Uh, mm -hmm. I know I know I know if I if I go ahead and I install an alarm system and I'm going to monitor it at the central station level. So I know I'm going to charge twenty bucks a month for monitoring, and I mm -hmm. know it's going to cost me five bucks a month to uh, have it monitored at a central station. So I know I'm making fifteen mm -hmm. bucks an account. Right. Right. And that's yeah, just my definitely. that's my that I'm just talking about my monitoring side. I've got I work my way up. I've got a thousand customers. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and I yep. so I know I should be I should be netting on my monitoring side fifteen thousand a month. I'm billing twenty thousand sure. a month. I'm collecting fifty I'm, uh, five thousand to the central station. Twenty thousand is going uh, uh, coming in five to the central station. How much is going to you? How much have you just added to my central station charge, my fixed cost central station charge per account? Are you able to answer that? Oh, what am I adding to it? Nothing. Yeah, well, the, you, you charge per account, don't you? No, 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 oh, that's yeah. the, definitely not. Yeah, 100%. We are we are seat-based, right? Like, I, I, I hate that idea that you know, if you sell three accounts, you know, it's five dollars and like that that's BS to me, man. Um and, and that that's part of why, you know, that that's another reason why we built it. Like I just didn't believe in those models. So we are how, how do they how do they pay? How do they 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 how do you charge the alarm company back? Based so on we are uh we we based on seats. So our two hundred and fifty dollar uh software, which is with the integrations and all that kind of stuff. It comes with five seats, and then every seat after that is twenty-five dollars. What's a um, seat? What's a seat mean? Uh, a user. A user. I'm sorry. So a user. So a user of the software. Well, wait a minute. So 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 an alarm company. So I I you know if I have a thousand accounts, I've got uh, I've got uh, two clerks working for me in the office. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are you saying? One two. One two three. That's you. But how many techs you got? Oh, okay. Ten. I got 15 okay. employees. I have 15 employees for my for my for my operation. Sure. Uh, so that's $500 a month. Okay. So how? And that's for your top of the line program. Correct. Yeah. There, there's other things like if you send out uh, the e agreements are two dollars per completed agreement. So you could send it out a hundred times, but you're only billed for the one that they sign. Okay, let me, wait, let, okay, wait, wait. I got I, I'm trying to I want to make sure I understand this. Yeah. So how do you compete with just DocuSign when it comes to getting these electronic agreements signed? Sure. Okay, so just DocuSign uh is it I, I mean you can sign up for any one of their plans. They have a $25, 35, 55 dollar plan. We are their top of the line plan because we have the APIs into uh, CRM, meaning that you don't have to double uh, data entry anything. Um, so what happens is uh, all of the information that you enter in on your front end side, all of the stuff you put into Workforce, when you hit send, we automatically create that big agreement for you and, and send it off. Um, DocuSign charges per agreement sent, which means that every time you send a, they call it an envelope, but every time you every time you send an envelope, you're basically charged anywhere from you know, a dollar to two dollars, depending on what, uh, um, wh which, uh, which platform you signed up for. Maybe meaning the twenty-five, thirty-five, or fifty-five dollar one. I, I think those are accurate, but don't hold me to it. Wait a minute. So, so, so you're saying that when someone uses DocuSign, there, it's costing them, let's call it a buck and a half, every time they ask to get a document signed. Something sure. Like so, that. like, it costs twenty-five dollars a month just for DocuSign, and that might come with like documents right uh so 11 12 13 14 you know 11 and beyond cost you know call it two to four two to three dollars to send uh out and get back but uh, you know on top of that too um though you can create templates meaning you have to you know uh, put in the information uh you, you don't need to drag and drop every single time um we we've already done all of that for you so you don't need to do the drag and drop and find and Put in this information, that information. The only time you have to do that kind of stuff is we'll drag and drop and put everything there. 
but uh, like your contracts are robust and protect you about, against anything and everything. So there might be parts of, uh, you know, a Kirschenbaum agreement that we don't have as part of our deal process that you need to fill out, uh, you know, when you get the agreement signed. But, but what if someone wants to, what, someone calls me and go, hey, do I know where they can get electronic contracts taken care of? Sure. Can, can they just go, and I could say, I mean, I know DocuSign. I, I, I don't know anything sure. about them, but I know that they're right. there. So, so I can say, well, there's DocuSign. And there's workhorse you can try. Mm -hmm. And they're going to say to me, yeah, okay, so w w what's it going to cost? So I'm going to say, well, a DocuSign is going to cost you 25 bucks a month, and it's going to cost you a, probably a buck and a half, two bucks, something like that, every time you send out a, a contract. At workhorse, right. it's going to cost you what? What we're talking so about if, is electronic if, if that, Yeah, if that's all they, they want, uh, I talked about it for a second before, that comes out in June, July. But that's going to be, uh, I'm going to say right now, between $15 and $25 a month and 4 to $5 per agreement completed. But the big difference is, Ken, is that they're going to get this dashboard right here. So the information is in, put in once. Uh, it goes out to DocuSign. Or, well, we, we're with another company. It goes out to sign now. But it goes out with our information uh, or, you know, your company's information. It's just a much easier way to do it than uh then then DocuSign. uh you know i don't want to speak about that specifically but uh these e-contract people who are made for anybody and everybody you know we're, we're building this form that's you know put in all of your information and then we'll pre-fill in your uh your business information your phone numbers and everything else well okay but DocuSign does that too does doesn't it that doesn't it you you create templates inside of DocuSign, but uh you need to work the templates okay um so it's just not as easy as what we're doing right right now i think you mentioned that you're 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 um, coordinating with two central stations oh, is that going to be expanded it is so right now we have avant-garde and affiliated uh cops we're just finishing up right now rapid response is next um do the central uh, stations have to pay to get into to, to, to coordinate with your program not necessarily. Uh, if if we have enough interest from the central station, or if the central station, uh, you know, gives us, um, you know, booth space like at ISC West, we can stand in there and we can work alongside of them to, uh, you know, both help them sell their product and help us sell our product. Uh, we're glad to do it. Being able to do webinars and having a good, uh, a really good um, social media presence really helps us too. If it's just um, you know, Joe's Central Station in, uh, you know, Oshkosh, uh, we, we might charge, and uh, we charge $7,500. Um, so that $7,500 would mean that, you know, we would do the complete stages, mass, bold, integration, whatever they have. Um, but the things it gets for them is it reduces their IVR, it reduces their data entry, it re you know, it can reduce their workload inside the Central Station as well. And it just goes back to that same, if you're a small Central Station and you can make a $7,500 investment to us and get your clients on it. Uh, you know, what, what that's going to do is that might be able to help you reduce your, uh, you know, your workforce as well. All right. But the major, the major central wholesale central stations that are out there, you're probably going to welcome them and be willing to give them software, hoping, hoping to get their, their dealers to sign on with you. Correct. Right? Yeah. We welcome. Yep, exactly. We welcome them with open arms. Um, you know, and, and, and honestly, until the until a dealer's central station does sign on with you, you can't mm -hmm. do the central station coordination. I I take it. Correct. We can still uh, we can still do all of the alarm.com stuff for them. You can manually input your zones, or you can just pull them from alarm.com. Uh, you know, one thing that we do do is, uh, you know, this is affiliated, but we have a list of like 40 or 50 central stations where we have all their data entry phone numbers right here for you. So if let's just say this is, uh, you know, a central station that we are not integrated with. Uh, okay. The, another question is what, what uh, could do you require any kind of commitment or term if someone so does sign up with you? No, no commitment or term. Uh, you know, it really comes monetary. It's that, uh, you know, that ADT $99 thing. So when you sign up with us, we do charge you the onboarding in your first month up front. Uh, and then we come up with a plan for you. So if we say, if you were to say, hey, Steve, look, 
I'm good to go. I want it. I'm in. I'm ready. It's uh, it's April 20th right now. Um, you know, we're going to say, all right, well, uh, May 1st is probably off, uh, but, you know, let, let's come up with a plan. So by May 15th, we'll have all of your information in there for you. Uh, and then we'll give you those 15 days to kind of play with it. But uh, uh, we call it June 1st is your first day. Do, right? you have, do you have a setup charge per account? Per client coming on board, yeah. So for per dealer coming on board, yeah. uh, it's normally a thousand dollars. But I, I I appreciate you know you giving us this time, um, and we had our ISC promotion, which was uh, half off, so okay. it'd be five hundred. Um, no matter on, how many, um, no matter how many accounts they have. Yeah, so we can move uh, as, as long as you give us all the information. We we move it all somewhat easily. Uh, you, you know, if you if you give me a hundred thousand accounts um yeah look that that's going to be harder for us to do but we'll you know kind of uh you know we're, we're going to work that uh just off of the the documents that you're going to give us you know we just ask you to give us like we have a form that we'll give you to kind of prepare and then we'll uh we'll put all of that into the system for you here's here's a question does this have any mechanism for collecting uh text or emails or oh uh, yeah Yes, do. Yeah, absolutely. And the and the customer portal uh, would be on before anybody here is to come on board. Uh, so you'll choose at the interval which you want to send it to them. So you can send them a text and an email every three days, every five days, every ten days. You know, uh, what, whatever you want to do. And then we'll give them a link to the customer portal where they can log in and make that payment. On top of that, if Mrs. Jones calls in uh, and you go and click on Mrs. Jones, the first thing you're going to see on Mrs. Jones is if she's past due, so you can take that payment from her right then and there. Um, you know, hey, Mrs. Jones, look, uh, you know, we need, we, I know we can come out for that service call for you, but you know, you're past due two months of monitoring. Can we take that payment up uh, for you first? You click on a button, you take the payment, create the service tickets, send the service tech, uh, get the service uh, ticket signed off on, and charge Mrs. Jones again for the service call. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, Ken, anybody that wants it, I'll put a Senta Kirschenbaum link on there. Anybody that's in major arrears, you want it sent right to your collection service, I'll put it in there. That's what you need to do, and you need to add our links, okay. by the way, to your, to your uh, uh, list of uh, everyone that you're doing business with, because I, I, I are you on the alarm exchange? Uh, not yet. We, oh, we, we, yeah. are going, we are going to be on it. Uh, I, I just did, I didn't trigger yet. So automatic to K&K, to, to K &K, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yep, absolutely. So so someone asked, is, uh, could we send them a, a recording of the webinar because the owner couldn't get on? All our webinars now are recorded and, they, and you can watch them on our website. So you'll, in a day or two, you'll be able to get this recording like all the others. Um, oh, he, I, here's a, a technical one for you. Since, ready. since you did avant guard, right. you can turn on any stages user user. Is that I don't know what that means, but do you okay? So so like Mastermind, uh stages is another central station software. Uh yes and no. Um I would I would love to say that it was just as easy as stages of stages of stages. Uh although the second time through uh would definitely be easier. Uh, they're not a one-for-one -one match of each other because stages, mass, fold, they do allow you to make whatever, you know, they do allow you to do your own changes and integrations, and that would be uh, what makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, but if there's a specific central station that person's asking for, uh, you know, I would be glad to um, talk to them about it and see, you know, and, and, and talk to the central station about it as well to see if, uh, you know, uh, if that, if that's an interest that they have, and yes, you're correct that the the second time through is a little bit easier. Okay, uh, if if you are a sub dealer of Alarm.com, how how will the software work? So we go off a. Of, okay, so that that's kind of a difficult one, right? So we go off of your uh, username and password. So if you're a sub dealer for somebody else. Your credentials only let you have access to your uh, your customers, and that's not a problem. That that that's no that's that's not a problem. 
so you just enter in your credentials and that that's what you have access to. You can still excuse me. You can still shell the account, you create the accounts, get all the information back and forth. Um, the the only one that's tricky is a dealer program, uh, not the dealer program, a builder program. Um, and honestly, that's just, uh, we need to find somebody who's really in that dealer program that's on board and we'll make it work seamlessly for them. A sub dealer of an alarm.com, what does that mean? That means they don't have a, a direct relationship with alarm.com, they're going through another alarm company? Yeah, so some smaller companies, so alarm.com has some fees for under uh, under 50 and they, you know, they cost a little bit more depending on how many people you bring on. Oh. So if, you are, if your main deal is not alarm.com, if you are a uh, secure net guy uh, or a secure comm guy, your DMP or your Residio guy, and you just have a couple accounts, maybe you have a, you know, a handshake agreement or maybe you have a subcontractor agreement that you can get off of your website. Uh, you, that you can be a sub dealer for them. It's your licensing, it's your information. I believe it's your branding as well, uh, but it's really just made for, uh, you know, the, the bigger dealer to have pe other people on them if they want to watch different offices, different branches and stuff like that. All right, well, this isn't an alarm.com webinar, so <laughs> I don't know how they work and I don't care. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Looks like we ran out of questions just about the time we ran out of time. So I want to thank everyone for attending. I want to thank Steve for presenting. I uh, hope we hear a lot more from him. We get an awful lot of information, uh, people asking me about electronic contracts. I think they're the future. Um, uh, uh, we'll have to work something out where we can offer that to people uh, through mm -hmm. you. And, and um, uh, as usual, I won't be asking for anything in return. Uh, just that you take good care of them. So anyway, I uh, want to thank everybody again. Uh, stay safe, and I'm going to sign off. Steve, you could say goodbye. I, I feel like right, that, so, like that night, those night shows. Say good, say goodbye, <laughs> Steve. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks everybody for joining, and uh, my information was on there, but it's uh, workhorsescs.com or Stephen Hayes Workhorse scs service company software.com yeah as, and, you uh, see, you find as, as you can see steve there's more important information on there now <laughs> well look i i did have your contact information up there for you okay uh, thanks a lot <laughs> thank you all right be safe everybody okay everybody take care bye bye <laughs>